Hey guys, Help101 here, here to help. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up a wireless router. Now, this is for if you want to get on Xbox Live or PlayStation, but I don't cover the PlayStation side. If you want to get on Xbox Live and you want to do it wirelessly, mm. so they have things out there that you could do it wirelessly, or you could do it wired. So if you are doing it wired, just skip this step. Go on to the next video. But for all you people that want to do it wirelessly, it's very easy. You must need a router. I prefer a Linksys, but there are good routers out there that you that you don't have to have a Linksys. There are good routers. Now, in order to do this, you must have a router that supports G and G or N. Those are the best two sources for the Xbox, okay? And you must have two internet wires. Now, one comes from your modem and one comes from your Linksys when you buy it. And they will come with a power block that you plug it in and basically that's all and that was all you would get and then you're set up so I will be showing you guys how to set this up it's very easy steps so let's get started guys let's set you will unplug your modem first you will now plug one of the internet wires into your modem Then you will plug the other end of the internet wire into your router. You will plug the second internet wire into any of the lines provided. Then you will plug the other end of the wire into your computer. You will now plug your modem back in. After 10 seconds from plugging your modem in, now plug in your router. Now if done correctly, you should see these lights flashing on your modem and on your router. This shows that you have internet connection and let's get started inside the router setting up your SSID and everything for your wireless to get on to internet. Okay guys, now we're inside the computer ready to set up the router. Now you can use any internet browser you feel. Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome. I'm just going to use Google Chrome. Now, you will have to search in the search bar 192.168.1.1. Now this brings up your router's login box. Now you do not have a username. Only way you have a username if you set it up with the startup disk. Now, I advise you don't do that because it just takes some space, and it just, it just, I don't really know, but I just never use the startup disk, okay? Now, if you have companies like D-Link or anything, just search it up on the internet. Search for the domain for a D-Link's router, okay? Now, your password is usually going to be admin. That is the default that the company sent it out like. So, just type in the word admin. Now, we're going to log in. Now, we're logged into your router. Now, if you see here, you are on your basic setup. Now, right here is actually you for a router name. So, choose a router name. They all come to default in a default way. So, just choose a router name. I chose mine says 1411 Family. Now, do not mess with anything else here. Everything else is set. Your IP address, everything. So, just click Save Settings. It's saving. It might take a couple seconds for your thing to save. Settings are successful, okay? Now you're going to have it to wireless. Now you're going to click manual. Do not mess with this, okay? Click manual. Now you're going to choose a network mode. You could choose mix BG, but I advise you just choose mix because if you have adapters that have got B and G in it, you just want to keep it on mixed. Now, you want to choose an SSID name. I advise you to make your SSID name the same name you made your router name. Okay? Now, your channel, leave it at 6. Do not change that. If you do change that, your router will be unbalanced. Really a lot unbalanced. Okay? Your SSD broadcast. If you want to enable or disable your SSD broadcast, you can. But I don't advise you to. But you can if you want to. 
save settings again. Now you're going to press continue. Now you're going to head over to wireless security. Now you're going to have to choose a security mode. Now I'm going to tell you to choose WEP. Okay. WEP, W E P. Okay. Now if you see here, it says you can choose different keys. You see the keys, key one, key two, key three, key four. You can choose them from up here. So if you want key two to be your designated key, go ahead. But I always like key one. Okay. Now right here, this is where you can get a longer code. If you want a really short one or you want a very long one, you can. So let me choose a short one and type in something. 1411 family and type in generate. Now you can see here you have a key one, key two, key three, and key four. Now these are the short ones. Now if you want a really long one, just click just click the 128 one and click generate. Now you see you have a long key, but I don't like the long keys because it's just too much. Then after that, just click save settings. And hey, make sure you copy that down before. So or you can just copy down after we're done with this video. Now after you click continue, you will go to administrator. Everything else is done. Your wireless security, everything is done. Basically, your router is up and running right now. Now, you're going to choose a new password. Now, the role password is admin. It looks like it's a lot of words because they just make it like that, but the new password is whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you guys my password, so let me just type this in. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, click Save Settings. Now, I was going to ask you to re-enter the new password you just made. Okay, now we enter your new password. Now, after you've entered in your password, your router set up, your router is done. Now, you could go to status and check your status for your router. Now, if you see these status and the status comes up and there's no, nothing's wrong, it's not telling you something, then you're good. You're up and running. Now, the order to get out the, the, the order to get out the router, you must close your browser first. Do not go to like websites like MySpace, anything like that, right after you finish editing your browser, right after you finish editing your router, and then just go to MySpace and don't log out the browser. Log out the browser and restart a new browser, okay? So I'm logging out. Okay, guys, I showed you guys how to set up your wireless router. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Help one on one out.